Hello people, this is Mark from Color Change Books. Guys, I hope that you are well. In today's little short story, it is uh, an interesting one. And it talks about, uh, how can we say, fate, I suppose, in many ways. The way that this story is written is, is synonymous with just helping people and getting the benefits as a result of helping those people. And sometimes the situation is such that it, it seems like the odds are against you in many ways. But the end result is really what matters. So we'll have a read of this story. It's just simply called The Interview. And uh, <clears throat> I wish in many ways that the philosophy of this story can... Uh, be experienced in real life more frequently. So there you go. Listen, before we get going, can we please do all the YouTube admin, as I refer to it as the share, the subscribe, the like, the comment, the bell, tell all your friends and family. Guys, you know what to do. Let's have a little bit of a read of this story. And it simply reads as follows. Jimmy, an automotive mechanic, but he was not at work for some time now. He had always had a good heart, but always feared applying for a new job. One day he gathered up all his strength and finally decided that he would attend an interview. All dressed up in a neat white shirt and, and some slack pants, he went on his way. His appointment was at 10am and it was already 830 while waiting for a bus to ride, going to the office where he was supposed to be interviewed, he saw an elderly man frantically kicking at the tire of his car. Obviously, that there was something wrong with the car. Jim offered to help the old man with this problem. While he was working on the car, Jimmy told the old man that he was supposed to go to an interview as a mechanic in one company, but would probably miss it because he would not be able to make it on time. When Jimmy finally finished working on the old man's car, the old man asked him how much for the service. Jimmy said there was no need to pay him because it was not work for him, just that he helped someone in need. Well, I could offer to take you to the office for where your interview is. It's the least that I could do. Please, I insist, said the old man. So Jimmy agreed. At the waiting room of the company Jimmy has applied for, there was a long line of applicants waiting to be interviewed, and he was told that the interviewer was late. A sigh of relief for Jimmy, but the other applicants looked over to him because he, was still, he still had some grease on him left after the car repair. He did not have much time to wash it or change of, get a change of shirt. One by one, the applicants left the interviewer's office with gloomy looks on their faces and signs of disappointment. Then his name was called. The secretary escorted him to the office. A cup of coffee was served him. The interviewer was sitting in an executive, executive chair facing towards the office window. Rocking the executive chair back and forth, he asked, Do you really need to be interviewed? Jimmy's heart sank. The room suddenly became a confined space for him. With the way I look now, how could I possibly pass this interview? He thought to himself. The interviewer turned the chair and, Jimmy, and to Jimmy's surprise, it was the old man he helped, helped earlier in the, in the morning. It turned out he was the general manager of the company Jimmy was applying at. Sorry I had to keep you waiting, but I was pretty sure I made the right decision of having you as part of our work workforce before you even stepped into this office. I just know you'd been a trustworthy worker. Congratulations. Jimmy sat down as they shared a cup of well-deserved coffee as he landed himself a new job. Isn't that a nice story of... Someone with a good heart just going out, 
helping someone. And in spite of going to be late for an interview, he decided to help nonetheless. Well, we can turn around and say, yes, it was fate that they should meet in that way, giving the old man a practical demonstration of his skill. Jimmy, of course, not knowing any different of who this particular man was. And this is the reason why I say what I said at the beginning. Sometimes I just really wish that we would meet people in, in real life where the tire meets the road, pardon the pun, where we meet these people in desperate need. And then in turn, they just repay the, the compliment back. And in Jimmy's case, it was him applying for a job. But the man who he helped was the general manager. No need to be interviewed because he practically demonstrated a couple of things at least. Number one, that he knew what to do. And secondly, he did it because it was no work for him. He demonstrated his nature and his character by the way that he approached this particular issue, wanting to help the old man. And it is just really sad that in today's society, there are so few people who go out to help others. It's such a selfish world that we live in today. No one seems to care about helping those who are in need. Now in the story's case, the need was the old man needed his car fixed. In today's society, it might not necessarily be the car. The car is simply a, a means that needs fixing. But how many of us need fixing physically? How many of us need fixing emotionally? How many of us need fixing financially? How many of us need fixing spiritually, particularly? Loads. And yet, when you sit and think about it, the amount of people who are out there who can do the fixing oftentimes choose not to fix, not to help, albeit they can. These choices that those people make saddens me to the bone because they could. It's not going to cost them anything. As in the story, it cost him nothing. They could demonstrate humanity by being human. Addressing people's needs. Helping because they can. But the harsh reality of today's world is simply this. I will only help you if you do that. If you do this. If you weren't in so much need, I would be able to help you. No, that's the reason why I need your help. That's the reason... Why you are able to help. It's just a damn shame that you don't. It's a sad, sad state of affairs for those who could but choose not to. And yet it, it is also equally surprising that for those who have nothing that they are generally speaking the first to help I don't know if you've noticed this in life that the, the ones who can't do the ones who can don't this world in many ways as far as I can see it is upside down it is as if it's been completely reversed in its purpose. I don't know what the solution to this is. I wish I knew then I could talk about it. But all I know is this, that people are 
more and more becoming more and more selfish, more egocentristic, more and more demanding of those who can't. So for the helpers out there, what will it cost you to help others in need? Would it mean you demand from them something that they don't have? Or will you be like Jimmy that says, I don't have, but I've got the skill, I've got the heart, I've got the nature, I've got everything that is required. And I will do it because it costs me nothing. I don't even want some kind of reward for it. I do it because this is who I am. Too few Jimmys in the world, my friend. Too few Jimmies. Yet there are too many old men in this world the same. I don't know what else to say as far as this particular story is concerned. I just wish and hope and pray that there will be more Jimmies that will arise and stand up and be counted to help those old men as in the story, with the needs that they have, regardless the demands on the Jimmy in the story. That's my thoughts for today. I wish that you, I hope that you've enjoyed it. Not I wish, I hope that you enjoyed it. Become a Jimmy. Help the old man. Whoever your neighbor is, help them. Both end up enjoying a well-deserved cup of coffee. The ultimate reward in life is relationship. And isn't it amazing that when you help people, that suddenly there's a relationship. Bizarre how the world has become what it has become. It's a sad place when people become so selfish. That's all I want to say. Please do all the YouTube admin. Share, subscribe, tell all your friends, tell all your family. Comment in the comments box. I would like to hear your story. Maybe you were the old man once. Or maybe you are the Jimmy in the story. I don't know. But for now, this is Mark from Carrots Works. I'll speak to you soon.